Portions with two massive competitors. And let's talk about I'm the now massive now. egos on commentary. Matt Cage and Christian Rose, Team Overkill Reunion on the call for what's going to be a phenomenal goddamn match. Hell yeah, man. I am excited to be back in the commentation station here for Freelance Wrestling. I talk better than anybody you've ever seen. Besides me. Obviously, we're right up there as uh, top talkers. Uh, Battle of the Big Men, Jeff Cobb and Jake Something. And battle the athletic big man, too, by the way. Yeah. It's not just going to be a lot of uh, brother, 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 if you will, but Let me these guys can move. Let me tell you something. Jake something and Jeff Cobb are two of oh, the most oh my God. athletic specimens I've ever seen. Jake something's got to be 6'6", around he's, three bills, and Jeff Cobb just threw him like a child. He's 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 a two and a half bills if he's an ounce. Uh, Jeff Cobb, though, had an amazing performance a few shows back here in a four-way match. Did things that I didn't think could be done. Yeah, Jake Something coming off a win in the scramble last month, putting his name on the map here at Freelance, and now looking to take Jeff Cobb's name out of the fans' mouths and put his own and, name in it. Oh, man, but, like, and for those of you watching this at home, uh, to put this into perspective, uh, uh, Maxwell, a touch on it, Jake Something is by no measure a small man. Not at all. He, he, but he is, uh, uh, I, I would say, as far as the width and thickness, perhaps, matched, if not outdone, by Jeff Cobb, who is just a freak of nature. Jeff Cobb also is a big boy. Oh, he is a, the largest of boys. And the thing about Jake something, I've known this man since 2009, oh, and all he's needed was an opportunity to shine. All he needs is one match, and I guarantee you that the name Jake something is something that everyone will be talking about come tomorrow morning. And I think it's awesome that you know that much about him, Matt Cage, uh, friend, tag partner, uh, arch rival, and nemesis. I'm not that familiar with Jake something. I know much more about Jeff Cobb than I do, so tag partner, friend, and, that, and that's the point that, that Jake Something's trying to hammer home is he sees Jeff Cobb getting all these high profile appearances and top promotions and he sees him and he thinks that should be me. Absolutely. He's looking to prove that point tonight. He wants to be the fly-in that every other Chicago promotion yeah. flies in. He wants to be the fly-in that everyone talks about. He wants to get the opportunities that Jeff Cobb has gotten. I gotta be honest with you, I'm digging his style so far. Very. Oh, look at the just Jesus. holding him there. Oh, landing him with a backbreaker. And on a, on a man the size of Jeff Cobb, that's dangerous for your own leg. Two. Jake Something's legs are massive. Like, Jeff, and only a one count. Jeff Cobb is back. so big, but Jake Something's left leg is the size of my torso. Oh, absolutely. My jeans could fit around his pant leg. He's, he does his squats. That is for sure. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. a suplex him. Cobb's sitting down his weight. Something trying to do the same. Neither a man able to get it. Correct me if I'm wrong here, guys, but Jeff Cobb, a former Olympian, yeah, representing Guam in the Olympics. Oh, something slips behind him, grabs the waist. Oh, German suplex from Jake something. That's a man alive. Oh, wait away. a minute. Oh, God. Oh, that did. Oh, that did. But that's a lot of light to make angry. Oh, as a oh. suplex from Jeff Cobb. Disorients him and then throws 
awesome. Oh, amazing show of strength, almost a psych out, looking like he was gonna go for a takedown to the face and then just hooks him like a sack of walnuts. Unreal. And a big lifter there, big time European uppercut. Jeff Cobb has taken over control of this match and has Jake something right where he wants it. Now I would. Oh my God, what a forearm. Well, that kind of negates the point I was going to make. Uh, Matt Cage, I think you would have heard before that back me up on this. Uh, Jake Something probably cannot win an actual wrestling match with Jeff Cobb. No. He, he, the size, the strength, the Olympic background. I, I think that likes. Jake Something needs to turn this into a fight if he wants to win because... That is a magic moonsault from Jeff Cobb! Oh. Up, only got the headbutt off at one! Only one! Now you gotta imagine, if he would've connected with that entire shooting star press, would he have had this match won? My, guys, I'm ashamed. I cannot do a backflip off a diving board. Absolutely, I can barely spell the word backflip. But Jeff Cobb in there just showing up all of us little men who want to be able to do that. And let me tell you that it's fucking bullshit. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I might not have done that, but I had a hell of a victory and so did you. Oh, so thank who's you very the much. real yes, winner? Absolutely. Yes, yes, indeed. Oh, Jeff Cobb, headbutt right to the neck of Jake something. Savage maneuver. Winner, winner, Arby's turkey sandwich dinner in my future. Savage. Jeff hey, Cobb hey. coming in hot. This is the corner Up like a fades and kick to the gut. Follows up with a series of just stomping a mud hole in Jeff Cobb. And again, uh, going back to what I was touching on, I think that Jake Something needs to make this a fight. Oh! He just stomped his stomped chest him in. so hard, he looks like a big puddle of lukewarm peanut butter as he goes One, for the cover. two, only two. Shout out to Hot New Rock Group. Puddle of mud on that stomp there. Uh, Jake Something, he needs to keep this being a fight. He needs to keep it being a brawl. Maybe try to... Uh, uh, you're, you're a bit of a knockout uh, aficionado, Mr. K. Absolutely. Uh, you think that's doable here for Jake Something to actually Look, KO Jeff Cobb? Well, let me tell you something. For all my years, and you've experienced it, if you're going to be a man who prides himself on headhunting, all it takes is one shot right on... Oh, oh discus lariat! Money and that yeah. One, two, and oh, only two. Almost hitting that pay window, getting that winner's share of the purse. A uh, bit of a lazy pin there. I think he might have overestimated the impact on that discus lariat. Didn't even hook the leg. But again, stomping him out. I like Jake Something's style. Uh, very uh, straightforward. The very first time I met him, he was so timid. He had the look. He clearly has the body. He was so timid. He had to go through a lot. He was in a tag team called Project Painkill. They found a ruthlessness that I had never seen before and became one of the best tag teams in the Midwest. But Jake something realized something. He realized that to make it in this business, he had to be on his own. And now is his time to prove that very fact. Oh, man, just oh. slugging it out in the center of the ring. Big forearms exchanged. Hell, you and I know that firsthand, Christian. Team Overkill, exactly. right? Together we were successful. Oh, head oh, on the chest! Oh, oh, Shades wow. of Zenadine Zidane from Jeff Cobb. Thank you very much. I was literally researching my mental uh, Rolodex there. Could not come up with a name. Very I, timely reference. Yes, yes, very much indeed. Unreal headbutt there. Man, why is soccer just not popular in the States? As you were saying, Mr. Cage. I was saying, we were a successful team, but to be truly successful in this business, you've got to do it on your own as Jeff Cobb throws him all by himself halfway across the damn building. That was a picture-perfect belly-to-belly overhead suplex, which is a very technique-based and dangerous maneuver. Belly-to-belly, woo, son oh, of a bitch. Look at oh, him. hell yeah, man. Jake slips behind, grabs a waist lock. Oh! Another German suplex for Jake something is second in this contest. Cobb really in the corner. Jake charges in, massive shoulder block. No. If you're paying attention, oh, black I am center of the ring. One, two, and three. Whoa, no. whoa, whoa. If you're paying attention, guys, and, and I'm eyelash away. I'm counting the black hole slam there. Uh, the, the, the best offense that Jake Something has had on Jeff Cobb at this point, I think, has been around the head and neck of him. He uh, had a really good head uh, punch to the right side of his face earlier. Just dropped him. And in case you didn't know, Jake Something is known to finish off opponents with a violent, nasty lariat to the back of the head, and he could be looking for it. Oh, man, you're right. He's, maybe. Oh. maybe. No, no, no. He's up. He's up. Look for that distance again. Nobody home. Cobb grabs him by the waist, hoisting him up. 
Chick trying to elbow his way free, driving him into the corner. Oh! Almost knocked him out. That was Cobb a, is rocked. That was a hit I've seen besides the ones that I throw. I was literally going to say uh, the shades of Matt Cage there with the Another right. One. No, counted it. Got him up for the island. Toro!